What's going on, everybody? This is Protect the Bag, a show that gives you financial insights from a different point of view. I'm your host, Lecrae. Let's get started. Now, today we're talking about protecting the bag, but if we're going to talk about protecting the bag, we got to talk about growing the bag. And one of my favorite topics is investing. Now, we've all been here. When your granddad, your uncle, your cousin, or just some old wise sage in the streets is trying to put you on game about investing. The problem is their attempts seem like they're doing more hustling than they're telling you about what to invest in. Come on, we all know the guy or the girl who knows everything about investing, but they refuse to invest themselves, even though they have the money to do it. They know all the answers to the test, but they refuse to take it for themselves. Here's the truth. If you don't have money that you can forget about, then investing can be hard, especially if you only see it from your vantage point. But take some notes because I'm about to drop some gems on you. If you have debt interest that is greater than your portfolio interest, it makes sense to pay the debt down. If you can buy number one with a Coke, you can invest. Stay with me. Now, there's different ways you can invest. You got stocks, meaning that you're buying small ownership stakes into the company. Then you have bonds. Now, this is where you're giving the company a loan with interest. And lastly, there's index and mutual funds. And this is where several investment instruments pull together money from multiple investors and they use the collective funds to invest. Now, it's crazy that we're talking about stocks because, you know, I, I personally should own a lot of Chipotle stock. I eat there all the time. And I'm sure they got to have some kind of honorary fork necklace that I can wear because of my faithfulness to their establishment. Come on, baby. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is all a lot. This is crazy. We're talking about stocks and what's going on. But a better way to think about investing is to just think through what it would look like if all your debt was gone. Then you could actually get the money phone and flaunt it on the gram, right? So here's the thing. When you you start on a road to investing, you start an extremely fun process. Now, there's lots of ways to invest. Some people work with brokers while others manage their own portfolios online through apps. And the thing is, there's so many apps out there that allow you to dip your toe in the water even if you're paying your debt down. Now, for what you pay each week to eat at that establishment that serves the Lord's chicken, you can definitely have ownership in a company. Now, it won't make you a decision maker like D-Wade owning the Jazz, but still, the reality is this. Americans tend to not think about delayed gratification. We're short-term thinkers, so work hard now so you can really play later. Now, if you like this episode on investing so far, check out this next segment. You know, I, I hear it all the time, the, when people hear X before something, there's bad connotations. X spouse, X boss, X neighbors, X friends. But I love experience because it's about moving forward. It's positivity. It's about destroying your debt, flying higher, diving deeper, crashing harder. Experience, let's go. Okay, so stocks and bonds. Yeah, I love stocks and bonds. I was born in the 50s too. No, it's 2021. No one cares about those anymore. It's bigger. You need to think internet. You, think, you need to think music festivals, okay? Uh, wood stocks. Uh, James Bonds, okay? It's not just stocks and bonds anymore. You need to think dot com. You need to think international, global, global, worldwide. When I think of James Bonds, I think of incredible movies. And then when I go to those incredible movies, I think of good credit, experience, boom. Uh, investing, I love investing. I think investing's great. But what about outvesting? Are we just gonna leave that alone? No, we gotta invest and outvest. I say 60, 40 it. Um, investing, outvesting, what's an example of outvesting? Uh, it's not just thinking one dimensionally, okay? You could invest in beehives, but what about wasps' nests and hornets' nests? You're leaving literally 66% of that market alone. Don't just think about beehives, think about wasp nests, hornets nests. There's so many investment opportunities with insects that might sting you. And what about mutual funds? A uh, big, 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 big hot topic this year, mutual funds. I say, what's the point that's so antiquated? We don't do that anymore. What about mutual fund? Time is your economy. How could we monetize the time we're having fun, okay? That's how you need to start thinking. When I go to the zoo, the kids look at the lions. I dumpster dive for bottles. I take those bottles to the recycling depot. I'm making 17 cents an hour that you're not making. Think bigger, think harder, think smarter, think experience. 
You gotta love his zeal. I mean, to invest in anything, but then again, make sure you have some direction and you do your homework. Do a simple internet search just to read up on a company's history, their five to 10 year trajectory. What are other sites saying about this company and who are they comparing them to? Now, check out this conversation with myself and another good friend of mine. Jewel Lloyd, <laughs> all right. So how you doing? I'm good. Thank you for thinking of me, having me here. Oh, come on. Now. Taking time to, to do this. this is awesome. Yeah, honored. So easy question <laughs> right off the bat. All right. All right. Um, who is the best player in the WNBA and why is it you? Well, <laughs> since you since you asked. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I, I think it's the um, the joy that I play with. Okay. And I just don't play for the money. I don't play for all the the records and trophies i i literally play because it's a learning experience for me okay um and it's fun it's, it's something i do and something that always reminds me of my family and friends and that's my why of why okay. i play financially you said your brother's like really good with the numbers and and yeah. like is there any piece of advice that you feel like he's giving you that was like man i really should like i'm thankful for that is there anything that he's he's laid on you yeah um Right when I got into the league, right when I got my first check and we were trying to figure out budget and all that other stuff, he was always like, we're, we're going to do um, the biblical way of saving. And I was like, okay, like, I'm, we, you know, we went to church, we know, you know, this we tied, you know, 10%, but also the third, the third, and third. And um, so we, we do a third of stocks, a third of real estate, and then a third of bonds. Wow. And he was like, that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick to this plan and we can always add and whatever. But this is what we're going to do from the start. And that's kind of how we kind of set up um, everything now. I mean, psh, stock advice straight from <laughs> the word of God. I don't know if he could go <laughs> yeah, wrong. Yeah, I was like, all right, well, OK, as long as I'm tithing and I'm doing that, which is the most important thing yeah. um, for us and our family. Um, and then everything else kind of trickles down. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, a third, a third, a third. Did y'all get that? <laughs> a third, a third, a third. I Listen, a gem dropped on you, okay? Um, it's not every day that we get a, a, a WNBA champion <laughs> in here dropping financial gems. Man, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you and how much you know you mean to you know people all over the world, obviously. Um, and just your insight and your wisdom is spot on and very special. Um, we're grateful for you. We're grateful to have you. And we're, we're thankful for the words of wisdom that you've invested in the people out there, so. Thank you, no, I, I appreciate it, for yeah. sure. Thank it's you. Love. Always. Good conversation, right? Now, you know what time it is, right? It's time to see what the streets have to say about investing. Let's take it to the streets. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Protect the Bag. This is your host, Lecrae, and I'm here with my friend. Jordan. Chelsea. Chelsea, and? Nothing. Muffin doesn't speak, but uh, the name is Muffin. Jordan, where are you from, Jordan? Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Do they uh, do they have money there? Cornfields. <laughs> Cornfields. So corn is currency in Omaha, Nebraska, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Hart or uh, Dave Chappelle? Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. I like Dave Chappelle as well. I think that was a very, very good answer. Not because it's right and wrong, but there is. That's right. That's right. Okay. I I, li I like her. Drake or Kanye? <laughs> Drake. Drake. <laughs> apparently, apparently that's funny. Let's just say Dave Chappelle decided to give you $5 million. What would you do with the money? Uh, buy a ticket to a show because he gave him the money and then invest the rest. <laughs> That's pretty smart. I like that. I, I think Dave Chappelle would actually appreciate that. Dave, you heard what she said. She's buying a ticket to your show. Okay, so let's say Kanye gives you $5 million. What would you do to protect the bag? Pass it to the next person because it's all about a moment. It's not about materialistic things because when we go, we can't take them with us. So if we can keep ourselves um, up by just sharing moments, that's better. I mean, because money's materialistic. Can you bury it with you or they're going to pass it out like ain't no tomorrow? It's like saying, do you take your car with you when you go under the ground? Or do you, you know what I mean? They sell it to the highest bidder. So why even worry about that? It's all about the moments that you have in life. Like like this, this is something I live for because I'm going to think about this for the rest of the day. Like, <laughs> So if that makes sense. As long as it makes sense to you, it makes sense to me. Okay, hey, as long as it makes sense, it makes dollars. Anything specific you'd invest in? 
stock market. I don't know. Okay, cool. Stock market. I would probably um, invest it and then put the rest into the community. Because I like seeing different things. Like, like even an event they have going on and stuff like that, I like seeing stuff that is going to last forever, not just something that's materialistic that's going to be here one day and then go on the next. I like to see things that are going to stay. I'm a part of the community, so would I be inclined to get a little bit of this money? Fact. You know, would you invest in Hot Cheetos, by the way? Oh, yeah, they're delicious. Thank you. Okay, just checking. Just making sure. You're the first person all day who has agreed to invest in Hot Cheetos, and we appreciate that. What, what about 50, 30, 20? When you hear me say that, does anything come to mind? Uh, 50, 30, 20. Three things divided into one. Three things divided into one. Okay. So... Wow, that was pretty profound. I don't, I don't know if I have a comeback for that one, actually. All right, I have one more question for you. When I say the words 50, 30, 20, what comes to mind? Uh, math. That's pretty good. 50 plus 30 plus 20 equals 100. Did you know that? I just learned that myself. I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, I just learned that myself. Three things divided into one. I like that. Okay. Um, is the earth round or flat? Well, my birthday is October 11th, so Christopher Columbus said it was round, so I'm going with that. <laughs> and you think Christopher Columbus is a valid uh, source? He's standing right here. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, this interview is concluded. We are out of here. I am talking to ghosts. I'm tripping. Once again, the streets have spoken. Look, people, investing is not just for the wealthy. Teens, college students, and all of y'all out there who are trying to establish yourselves, you can invest too. Look, if you drink coffee, you go to the movies, you eat out, you can invest and become a small owner. There's so many apps out there that can help you get started. And I promise you, this is not a hustle. That's our time for today. I'm Lecrae, and this is Protect the Bag.